Just two years ago, the legendary Warren Buffett appeared on CNBC to offer his outlook on the cryptocurrency market. Buffett stated that in terms of cryptocurrencies generally, I can say that with almost certainty that they will come to a bad ending. Well, here we are two years later receiving news that the leading mortgage lender in the United States, United Wholesale Mortgage, is planning to accept Bitcoin payments by the end of the year. Were Buffett's predictions wrong? Will Bitcoin take over all currencies? And how will this affect the housing market? All your questions will be answered. Stay tuned. What's going on everyone, Andrew McManaman here, a licensed real estate professional in the great state of Michigan, coming at you with recent breaking news about UWM planning to accept Bitcoin payments by the end of the year. Before I jump into this further, do you think accepting Bitcoin payments for mortgages is a good idea or a bad idea? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. This would make it the first major nationwide mortgage lender to offer this service. The company's CEO, Matt Ishbia, stated, We've evaluated the feasibility and we're looking forward to being the first mortgage company in America to accept cryptocurrency to satisfy mortgage payments. The company is planning to accept Bitcoin to start, but will soon evaluate Ether and other cryptocurrencies as well. For those of you that have no idea what Bitcoin or cryptocurrency is, it's a digital currency based on blockchain technology that can be used to buy goods and services that uses decentralized control, which means they aren't controlled by one person or the government. This begs the question, how in the world is this supposed to work? Well, as of right now, UWM hasn't broken down the exact step-by-step -step process to purchase a home with cryptocurrency, but there have been a few real estate transactions done around the nation doing so. It's important to understand that you truly only need two parties to agree in a transaction, a buyer and a seller to okay this payment method. As far as the few transactions that have happened already, they used a global Bitcoin payment service provider called BitPay that would convert Bitcoins into dollars, whereas other parties accepted Bitcoins to increase their investments. A pro to this process is skipping the banking system altogether, so turnaround times tend to be a little quicker. One of the cons is that if a transaction needed to be reversed due to any litigation, Bitcoin transactions are not considered reversible. Jack Ryan, a Bitcoin consultant, envisions having an open source mortgage contract that parties would interface rather than using a traditional contract, so no third party is necessary after the contract has been signed. Another popular question is, how is Bitcoin taxed? Well, it depends on the country, but in the United States, the IRS considers it to be property. So every transaction would be calculated as a capital gains tax. There are services out there to simplify the process for you, but I'm sure that will probably be another fee calculated down the road. Capital gains tax. If you don't know what it is, it's essentially a tax on any gains you profit after the sale of an asset like real estate, bonds, or jewelry, coin collections, or stocks. In real estate, it becomes exempt from capital gains tax if the home is considered your primary residence. According to the IRS, your primary residence is a home you have lived in at least two of the five years. Keep in mind, however, that this exemption can only be used once every two years and there is a monetary limit to these exemptions. If you're single, $250,000 of gains on the sale of a home are excluded from taxable income. This means that if you buy a home for let's just say $350,000 and three years later you sell it for $550,000, the capital gain would be $200,000. This is under the $250,000 limit, so you wouldn't pay any capital gains tax. If you're married, $500,000 of gains on the sale of a home are excluded from taxable income. However, if you go above that amount, you'll have to pay gains tax on anything above it. The capital gains tax is anywhere from zero to 20%, depending on if you're exempt or not. So it's well understood why some people wouldn't want to use Bitcoin to purchase a home just based on that tax alone. Now that I've thrown out all that information out there, what are the pros and cons of buying a home with Bitcoin? Starting with the pros, as I mentioned, the speed to purchase is much quicker as it knocks out the banking system. Number two, 
you may get a discount as sellers will expect the value of a Bitcoin to rise over the years. There might be a little more room for negotiation. Lastly, like I have already mentioned a little bit, you would be exchanging a more volatile asset for a less volatile one, meaning home values are steady while the value of a Bitcoin changes regularly. Moving along to the cons, you may find difficulty finding title insurance or an escrow company to help you out with a transaction like this. Number two, Cryptocurrency lacks legal protections, and as I've mentioned about volatility, you may be spending a lot more in Bitcoin than originally planned based on the fluctuation of value. Lastly, you may struggle to try and find a seller that is even willing to accept Bitcoin for their home. It's said that cryptocurrency is risky and made for the adventurous, but there's over 100,000 merchants worldwide that accept Bitcoin, and Microsoft and Expedia are just to name a few of them. Are they all adventurous, or do you think these companies and UWM are shaping the future for cryptocurrency to take over all currencies? Do you think there will be a downfall like Warren Buffett stated? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm curious what everyone has to say about this topic. Thank you for watching this week's video. If my videos continue to provide you value week after week, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Tap the bell to be notified every single time I make a new upload. And please, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you tuning in next week's video.